Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Ooh, Lord. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> it's that time of the year. You know what I'm talking about? Lord. I feel like I got ran over by a car. And so I kind of know what that feels like a little bit. Yes, Lord. It's another beautiful day today. Today's going to be a good day. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephanie, good morning. I love you. Oh, you know, it's just awesome to be able to, you know, connect to your higher self, connect to your higher being, and connect to God. You know what I'm talking about? Lord, what do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people this morning? Oh, yeah, my hands ash. Been washing them all night. Now that's in uh, Proverbs 23. Look like 16, 17 to me. What you want to say? 16, 15, 16, 17. Then Proverbs 26. Look like 13, 14, 15. But y'all already know the routine. Ooh. What we gonna do? We gonna run this joint. You know what I'm talking about? Listen. It says, My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice. Even mine. Yea, my reign shall rejoice. When thy lips speak, right things let not thine heart envy sinners but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long you know a lot of people have their own theories of why God wants us to fear I'm going to break it down to the simplest he is our father he is the creator of creation. You know, he put a piece of him inside of us. So our DNA has the DNA of Jesus Christ. And it says. My son, thy heart be wise. You know, when your heart. It's in the right place and your heart is clean. That gives him a place to rest at. So if you got God in your heart, you know, you're going to shine like no other. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to shine like no other. That's what gets you a whole bunch of attention, unwanted attention too sometimes because, you know, demons, they, they be irritated. You know what I'm saying? They be trying to see how to put your flame out. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why we have to stay fast in the word. You know what I'm saying? You know, all the Psalms are powerful prayers of protection, prosperity, love. You know what I'm saying? And what is love? Love is God. Because if it wasn't for the love of God, we wouldn't be here. It says, do not envy sinners. You know, that's those people that choose to take shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, God ain't doing this fast enough. Let me go ahead and jump on through here. You know, my, you know, that's, that's, you know, like canceling him out like he don't exist or something. You know what I'm saying? And God get angry. 
A lot of people don't realize that. He's a loving God, but he, he's a jealous God. You know. So if you think you just the ish, you accomplishing everything on your own, God will humble you. You know, like I tell my baby, God is with us. I tell her all the time, he is with us. You know what I'm talking about? She is authentic or nothing. And she agrees. You know. Whoo. Says. But fear him. <coughs> fear him all. Excuse me. Fear him all the day long. We were hearing that joint. Said for surely. There is an end. And thine expectations shall not be cut off. So the expectations out of the whole deal is when we be obedient, God blesses us in many different ways, shapes, and forms. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I had that saying, you know, he will give us what we need. The devil will give us what we want. What we want won't last long. What we need lasts forever. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. It says, Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and God thy heart in the way. You know, he want us to be like him. That's why I said too, you know, since, since we got him inside of us, he want us to be like him, but not like be like him, think that we God. But he, he want us to be in his ways, and that's being obedient. You know, kind, loving, caring. You know, when, when it comes to vengeance, let him have a vengeance. You know what I'm talking about? He's just giving you a vision of provision. A map towards holiness and righteousness, uprightness. Ooh. Says. As a dog. Returneth to his own vomit, so a fool return to his folly. See if thou a man wise in his own conceit, there is more hope of a fool than him. A slothful man said, There is a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turneth. Yeah, we running that joint. Upon his hinges. So doeth the slothful man upon his bed. The slothful hidden, hideth his hands in his bosom. It grieveth him. To bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser than his own conceit. Seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth. With strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ear as a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. <clears throat> you know, 
this return to the own own vomit. You know, that's what a dog will do. If a dog hungry enough, and this is this is a metaphor. If a dog hungry enough, he will eat his own vomit. And that's just like gossip, lies, betrayals, you know. There's people hungry enough to eat that and return to it. You know what I'm talking about? And it is, it is conceited for somebody to do something like that. Why? Because they look at it as vanity. They look at it as entertainment. It ain't nothing but the works of the devil. You know, you bring in all kind of negativity to the situation at hand. And it, it, it probably don't even, like I said here, it probably don't even got nothing to do with you, but you just still conceited enough to keep your nose in it and eat your own vomit. See, as the door hinges turn, you know, that's somebody that's productive. The other joint, the slothful person, they flipping around, you know, making excuses and looking at everybody else succeeding. And then when they see the results from what's going on, then that's when they want to try to come in and be all buddy, buddy and friend, friend, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. But all the while you were putting in that work. You was putting it in. You probably even asked for help. But nobody lend you a helping hand. But once everything comes together, that's when you see everybody. You know, this is authentic to nothing. Phone going off already. Listen. Had a funeral to go to. I've been going to funerals all week. Lord, let them rest in peace. You know, let, let them rest in peace and let their families heal. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later on.